everybody and welcome back to another Marcel Fun Times video. Now, I just need to prepare for the route and uh, get some snacks real quick. So, I'm just going to put you on with the pile of Marcel theme for a minute. Thank you. So, um, basically, um, we're going to be doing a route video in the A350 again, of course. <laughs> And, um, well, actually, not really again, because we haven't, um, done it much on the channel here. But let me just ch real quick check on YouTube. Have we even done the A350? In all the PTFS videos I've uploaded in this entire channel, we haven't even done a takeoff and landing video or even a route video in the A350, not even a live video in the A350. We've never used the A350. How sad. Anyways, um, welcome then. We are uh, kind of green with nice sunny weather. Um, it's gonna be the most beautiful sunset we're ever gonna go past. So uh, we better start up the avionics before, you know, uh, before um, we get a little bit too spicy. The route, uh, the route is from Grindavik um, here to um, Perth um, International. Um, so yeah, as you can see. Um, I've changed to headless. Yep, it's not real. It's too expensive. I do have Robux though, <laughs> but for hundred Robux, still born. It's not the most. It's not the most cheapest, nor the most expensive. Like seventy-five Robux, and you can actually, and you look like completely headless if I come here. Why the hell is it not? Well, yeah, let's just ignore PTFS because um, well, things on PTFS never work. Anyways, batteries on, check APU master, and if you start all the fuel fans coming up here, uh, check. Um, just a line in the navigation there. Okay, uh, ground, uh, ground power on. Um, should be good. Circuit breakers, none of them are popped. Perfecto. Flight controls, check. Um, up, down, left, and right. Yeah, we should be good here. Um, what a beautiful airplane. Um, let me just real quick um, do something. Perfect. Um, now, we're going to have to do the pre-flight checkup. But now, these landing gears compared to me, oh, my, the wheel is as big as my body. Anyways, let's just check over the landing gear here. So, um, landing gear looks fine. The actual um, uh, piston system looks good as well. Using shift cam because I am too short. Um, uh, um, the wheel chamber look good for this one, right? Looking nice. Main valve, yep, all nice and connected. Engines, now there a got a bit of um, dust on there, probably from the air molecules. Uh, wing tip mm, looks fine, yeah. It's very hard to turn the sunset because it's very yellow. Mm, yeah, it looks 
it looks good, uh, nice and smooth here. Lufthansa, it's probably like the engines are a bit dusty. It is a new aircraft, so it's probably the engines are either dusty from manufacturing or a test flight, or like you know, like the testing programs, and then they have to rebuild the entire engine um, column. Anyways, we have done the um, um, the ground inspection, and uh, there's no one that will that are less um, there are uh, all the passengers are boarding. Do you see on the stairs? Look at them. Hello, hello. Oh god. Let's just. Yep. Oh yes, our cabin is full. And uh, all right, we're actually already ready to stand up our engines because of our procedures. So. Um, engine number two starter. Check. Yes. The A350 uses reverse thrust to run. Yes, and also we have thunderstorms. That's a bit sad. We're gonna push back with our reverse thruster. Plus, we are taxiing in one engine. Um, only until we get near the runway stem, I'm going to activate the other engine. Just checking over my charts here, um, Grand Vic, yeah, um, because he haven't done this in ages. Oh, this virus thing, I don't know. It's so annoying, man. Anyways. Put that, alright, there we go. So, that's our charts there beautiful so that's how we can um, check over our aircraft um, it's nice and beautiful as you should be able to see here Fine. yep zoom in a little bit it's so nice and beautiful now it tells us now where where uh, we exited gate 4 we should be over here somewhere so we're gonna um, taxi all the way to alpha and then through alpha we're gonna go alpha 3 and then we're gonna go to runway 24 left we're gonna take off inbound and then we're gonna have to turn to perth so yes as i can see um, there is an alpha sign and when we get to alpha 3 I think we're, what was it, um, a year, Alpha 3, when we get to Alpha 3, um, we will, um, turn on engine number 1, um, which is just like via, you know, like that flagpole, um, really nicely that we don't have any wind here, that's a, uh, second A350, let's just hope, oh no, this is gonna be a tight squeeze, oh god, that's not, ideal I'm mainly um, using these guys elevators if their other ones are broken they'll notice if their elevators are broken they're too short everyone's too short to check the A350's elevators man oh god alright well, let's just um let's just hope we don't make another flight accident unlike um You don't talk about Alaska Air uh, that one time and I crashed a helicopter and I got stuck in the door and then the sensors come and the door was uh, anyways um engine one starter oh uh, fuel uh, fuel to engine number two actually this thing's been yeah look at that it's been running off of starting power and uh, fuel to engine number one as well oh my god that's just not good there. <laughs> um so just look at our um uh, tablet here um so it's it's kind of like a sat nav you know like it, it kind of just guides you so um yeah, let me just check over the passengers and the passenger cover. Yep, they look good. Alright, I'll um, do 50% throttle here. Check. Alright, full power. By the way, it is um, 8 o'clock in my UK bound time. Sorry that I didn't do any videos in the morning. I was um, at Goat Cotton, um, you know, with my best friends. I won second place in the championship and I was also uh, watching my other friend who quite recently moved to um, adults 
Um, so yeah. Oh look at that! It shows how it's been announced to uh, should have enabled the setting like years ago. <laughs> like I should have I should have enabled it in 2020. Uh, I remember those times. I was playing PTFS on Roblox, and the um, generally I played PTFS at time where the A380 didn't even exist in PTFS. Um, neither did the um, KC tanker, obviously. And no, uh, there was the only helicopters, the Airbus one, and the um, and there's another one, the Boeing one. Oh my God! Uh, it's just so, it's just so memorable, you know. Like. By the way, I'm just gonna reduce our speed to um, chill out on the fuel a little bit, uh, you know, like. Because, uh, who likes um, this? Anyways, I did actually bring over my snacks, and I'm just gonna eat my first one um, when we uh, turn over here. So, it should be good. I'm gonna go like, and then I'm gonna have to turn, and then we're gonna go from there to Perth, which, damn, it's gonna be long. Flash tractor. Now I'm eating my first snack, uh, guys. First snack of the day. By the way, do check out the old planes um, playlist. There are some things from my old years, and then we got a new um, type of video. I did a 1950s uh, retro style. Have you guys heard like a uh, herd of happy hippo? Not that it looks like my brain stem, but uh, just because they're tasty as hell. Oh uh, well, finally it's daytime, and we're gonna be turning to um, Perth now, as we are, which is perfect. And I'm gonna keep this as my. Actually, wait, no, I'm not gonna keep it as my cruising altitude because I need to ascend more. Plane wants me to uh, my uh, altitude thing wants me to fall down, and I'm not going down. Right, let's see what we've got on the mini map. Yeah. Um. In fact, we're actually more near Great Rockford. Yeah, we're just passing under Great Rockford. So Perth is actually across the map. So technically, I could go to 13,000 feet, and we can settle there. Um. We can take a toilet break and everything. You know. Um. Uh, well, just get rid of <coughs> this mini map for a little. I'm just gonna uh, look at some approach charts here. Uh, um, per approach chart. Uh, oh, bloody hell! Oh my god, I swear. Um, Perth approach chart. There you go. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Alright. I'll uh, look at that in a minute. So, um, now we are cruising. Just gonna let my pilot, uh, co pilot take over. 
I'm going to give a little bit of a cabin tour here, uh, just because I want to. These are the um, business class seats, very special passengers here. These are the premium economy seats. We do not have first class here at um, Lufthansa. And then here are the economy seats. So let me just get back up to the flight deck here. Um, Okay. Yeah, we're not even close to um Perth. Well, we are um well we're almost halfway. Anyways, let's just uh, go over this approach chart here. So when we approach, um, let's see here. So here we need to be at least eight thousand feet. Then uh, 6,800 feet, and then that's kind of our descent kind of thing. So, like, say, what, like, 8,000 minus 6,800, pretty simple. It's like um, 1,200. So, we need to um, lose 1,200 feet, um, which should be okay. Um yeah um you can just basically see the um, areas here so and then the heading so oh so you're gonna have to turn inbound so at uh, 5200 feet we stay inbound but at 8000 feet we need to turn in okay so we need to turn in onto the mountain area um that land is probably Greater Rockford. No, that's St. Bar family. What is this land? What am I looking at? Oh wait, these are just the clouds. <laughs> these are just the clouds, man. Um, let's go a little bit slower here. Um, okay, so just another review in here. So we're gonna have to actually take a turn into uh, Perth, or we could take it optional and do a kind of bigger turn into the approach crescent, which is uh, this thing right in the middle, this massive stick. Or we can use um, this area where we turn from 0 to 94 degrees all the way to 303 zero three degrees um, of heading. I would rather do free, uh, like that transition from. Um, 094 to 303 because if we do the uh, full length transition from say like yeah 113 um, all the way to 3003 then it's gonna be kind of it's gonna be like a longer type thing and here at Lufthansa we like shortcuts um, I'm just making my map bigger and zoom in slightly so that's Perth incoming we are just passing by um, St. Bar family. Um, I can see the airport on my radar, and that is exactly how we want to be approaching. So we're going to pass over St. Bar family, still uh, do it. We're going to lose some speed, go to 6,000. Um, so what is it? Uh, 6, 000, um, so we're going to go from 8, uh, we're going to descend to 8,000 to 6,800. So we actually probably should start descending to. Um, 8,000 already because we are getting pretty close I will admit um, we are getting pretty close so we just need to um, lose some altitude I'm gonna go more into yep yeah, that's I think that's it yeah that's the riot and Oh, that, that should be good. We have already lost half of our fuel. We should be good. We should be good. Um, because we can easily refuel our Perth. We are just passing over St. Bar family. Um, we're just going um, below 10,000 here. Um, oh, God. <laughs> Look at these clouds. They're thunderstormy. 
Oh no, we're heading into the storm, everyone. We're heading into a storm. Okay, um, we're gonna keep descending. We're just gonna descend a bit faster. We need to um, descend a bit. Lord. All right, boom, should be good. All right, keep descending uh, to how much again? So 6,800 and then it wants us to go to 5,040, which um, 6,800 seems valid. Oh yes, I can see Perth. Okay, so I can see the runway. That's for sure. We need to tail round Lukla. So it looks like we're going on approach for Lukla, but then we are going for approach in Perth. So this is like the uh, short way, so let me try and just start turning now because if we do a full kind of look-alike approach on uh, Lukla, then that'll be bad. Flaps to one, um, I'll turn off our minimap now. Um, should be uh, good. I'll just um, quickly replace the chart. Perf, 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 perf. Oh no, not Luke Club, Perf International. Okay. Oh my god. Alright. We should be okay. We have turned inbound. And look at this. It is night time. Look, oh, look at that. Yeah, it's like the AO Arena. Alright. Oh, I heard that. Let me turn the speakers a bit up. And the uh, volume. I want to hear that again. Let me chill out on the speakers now. Alright. Flaps are two. Get down. 500. Alright. That ain't 500. Landing speed, um, 107 knots should be good. I'm just gonna let it, um, I'm gonna let the um, so I'm just gonna put my mouse like this. I'm just gonna click C. So I have uh, look at this. I have absolutely no control of the plane, and I'm just going to land again. View in case anything goes wrong. And yes, we are a bit low in the glide slope, like my brain, um, like my brain's in memory, and uh, right now. Because I've forgotten everything in the charts, no dollar. Alright, let's try and butter it. You think we can butter it? Oh, yes, we can. It's Pilot Marcel. We are buttering it. Please. Oh, he's calling me a retard, you fat. Alright, uh, ooh, okay. Yeah, no. Not that good of a um, landing. God, all right, just uh, let's just turn inside on, there we go, all right, let me just uh, real quick check how long we've been recording for, god damn, um, that was not my longest route, yeah, not my longest, 23 minutes, not the longest, but quite a hassle, I'd just uh, have a chat to my flaps for one there. Um, I might actually do, tomorrow I might do a route with Concord, because it's still 8 o'clock surprisingly, <laughs> um, it is 8 o'clock though, so, in the UK, so, I will need to ho uh, hop off at some point, and that, probably in like, 3 hours, actually maybe 4, but like, come on probably going to use all those to edit and upload and then I can just chill play games with my mates on Roblox I am on Roblox um, but yeah we did test out some other Roblox flight sims I absolutely love Microsoft and, uh, flight sim in my opinion but I don't play it because I just want to make the most unrealistic flight sims some of the most smallest but amazing flight sims feel so realistic so that's literally what like in my intro you can see like 
It brings PTFS realism in my banner. PTFS realism work. I try my best to make this real realistic. And I actually love you guys. You guys are the best. Um, like, say like, two years, no, like three years ago in 2021 when I actually started my channel, I... I had like 23 subscribers. Now I've got 56. I've had so much success from PTFS video videos. So please, if you have siblings, family members, or anything, just tell them to subscribe to me. They don't even have to watch my videos. I don't care. Just, just tell them to subscribe to me, and I will be happy. That's all I want. Alright, that's all I want from you guys. Please grant that wish for me. Anyways, fuel pumps off. Uh, there we go. Yep, our engines are turning off right there. That's good. Yep, yep. So distracting. Okay. Up. Uh, Alright, let me just uh, sort this gear out real quick. Let me just. Uh, uh, song. Uh, oh, but no. You. I agree. Uh, I will actually. I might actually tell you guys about some of the PTFS Easter eggs. You know, like the, the creation. Derek's creation is. Well. Something we don't talk about. And, um. Look at this beautiful plane. Like a bra. And now I want to do kind of mainly this side. There we go. Okay, guys. Uh, let me just um, do this gate here. And, yeah. So. And let me open the door up. Open the door up. And, alright, everyone, you can come out. Now. I hope you guys enjoyed today's fabulous video. I love standing in this Robux thing. It's the best day of my life. Anyways. I hope you guys enjoyed today's very special video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!